Hey YouTube, Jack here. In today's video I will be talking about gigantic crops in religion. Here's an example of a gigantic karu. I will be showing you how to grow these gigantic crops and then I will be doing some experiments to test a couple things when growing these crops. So let's get into it. So first you need to have at least a 2x2 two two ploughed land and um, four of the same crop seed um, planted within the 2x2 two two, and then water it and put fertilizer on all four seeds and we want to do this on at least four different days and on the fourth day it will let you um, put a supersizer on it which you can um, buy the fertilizer and supersizer in the item shop so that's what we're going to do for four days so I'll speed this up So as you can see this is the fourth day of putting fertilizer on my crops and after doing this uh, we'll let you use the supersizer. So we'll put the supersizer on and then water our crops. And then all we have to do is keep watering our crops until it is um, able to be harvested. Um, so we'll fast forward to that. So now, as you can see, my crops are able to be harvested but instead of harvesting it, we'll water it one more time um, and then it should be gigantic the following day. So let's have a look. Yep, so here is my gigantic broccoli. Alright, now we're going to do a couple of experiments. So for this experiment I wanted to play around with um, using the fertilizer at different times. So with this first lot of crops I wanted to uh, try to fertilize the crops every single day. And the second one um, I just wanted to do the normal four days of um, fertilizer and then use the supersizer. In this third one I just wanted to um, see what would happen if you use fertilizer after the crops have already um, grown to be able to be harvested. So yeah, let's um, see what happens here. So I'll fast forward the clip. So now as you can see the first two sets of crops have been fertilized for four days and both have had supersizers added to them. So with the first set of crops I wanted to continue to put fertilizer on um, but it wouldn't let me. This isn't actually a bad thing because if you lose track of how many times you've put the fertilizer on it doesn't matter because it will keep letting you fertilize until you do all four turns and um, so you don't need to worry about wasting any money on putting too much fertilizer because it won't let you. So I'll keep fast forwarding the game until my last set of crops is ready to be harvested. Now as you can see my last set of crops is able to be harvested. 
um, so I'll be putting the fertilizer on these and then try to put the supersizer on afterwards and see what happens so I'll fast forward to that point So this is the fourth day of putting the fertilizer on. And then we'll give it a quick water and then put the supersize on. And let's see what will happen tomorrow. Oh, and here we go, we have a gigantic broccolin. So what this means is it doesn't matter when you put your fertilizer and your supersizer on, as long as you fertilize the crops four times and put a supersizer, you're good. So here is my next experiment. So with this experiment, I wanted to see if you had to grow gigantic crops by themselves, or if you could grow them with other crops around them. I just wanted to see if you needed a specific pattern to grow the gigantic crops um, because I remember someone mentioning that they couldn't um, grow the crops in the, like a square formation or something. So I just wanted to test this out. Also just a quick tip, if you have your farming scale leveled high enough, you can hold down your fertilizer button and it will do a 3x3 three three area. And it won't fertilize crops you have already done, so it won't waste any fertilizer. So let's fast forward and let's see what happens with this experiment. So here you can see me put my supersizers in two random places. So here you can see I have my two gigantic crops. So what this means is it doesn't really matter where you plant your gigantic crops and if there are other crops around, as long as you follow the steps you will get the gigantic crops. So in this experiment I wanted to test what happens if your crops are in different phases of their growth. This could happen if you forgot to water your plants or you planted things at different times or put fertilizer at different times and um, yeah. So with these crops they're already fully fertilized and have their supersizer on so let's see what ends up happening. And now they're both at the same phase of growth and I think they're both harvestable so let's see what happens the next day. And here we see it has now grown into a gigantic crop. 
So it doesn't matter what phase your crops are at, they will still be able to combine and turn into a gigantic crop. So this is my last experiment with trees, um, and this is a bit different because they come in 2x2 two two seeds, so I wasn't sure what would happen if I should plant one seed or plant four of the trees in the formation like we do with the crops. And um, so I just wanted to experiment with this and see what happens. So I'll just fast forward until the trees are able to be harvested. So here you can see I've used my fertilizer four times for all the trees, but it wasn't able to let me use my supersizer. So I continued to water my trees to see what would happen once my trees are fully grown and able to be harvested. So now you can see my trees are fully grown and able to be harvested. So I'm gonna water them and go to bed and see what happens tomorrow. So it looks like nothing has happened um, and the trees are still just fully harvestable and not um, supersized or anything and I continued with doing this for a little while and um, yeah continued with the same result so it doesn't seem that you're able to make trees into gigantic crops um, unless I did something wrong or they have a different way of becoming gigantic so you can only get high quality items from trees and not gigantic items um, and aqua crops work exactly the same as the land crops um, yeah, comment down below if trees are actually able to become gigantic and if you know how to do this um, and like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and yeah, thank you very much for watching, till next time, see ya.